Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at this 2012 BMW 320D. Today's review is taking place at Kelly's Toyota, situated in Letterkenny, County Donegal. For all contact information in regards to dealership, please see the description box below. So in today's review, we're going to be looking at the interior of the car. I'll explain how all the features work. We'll also start up, look at the engine, go into performance data and take a look around the exterior. So this 3 Series comes with a completely keyless ignition, as I'll demonstrate in just a moment. It has our armrests, 4 electric windows as well as your electric mirror controls. Standard manual adjusting front seats. So we'll just leave the keys in the centre console. Press the start stop button once to turn on the power. This particular car has 29,985 miles on the clock so far. So just apply the clutch and hold in the start stop button to power on the engine. Fires right up. So this car has the leather wrapped three spoke multifunction steering wheel as well as the electronic rack and pinion power assisted steering. And it also has a completely manual adjusting uh, steering rack. You just pull down the sleever and you can do all the adjustments you want. So off to the left, you've got your standard cruise control settings. And off to the right, you've got the radio controls and voice command and so on. So this car also has the iDrive system, of course, as standard. So you operate it down here using this dial. You can shift left and right to go you know, back and forth between the menus. And you also got your menus listed here for the radio, the menu, main menu, sorry, uh, the Bluetooth telephone, your back button and option. So we'll go through it right now. It's very easy to use, actually. So this here is the uh, main screen. You got your CD and multimedia, so you can select basically between the CD player and your auxiliary and USB ports. Um, they'll be listed here in the external devices. I'll just show you where they're located under this armrest here. There they are, as well as a small bit of storage. So if we scroll down to the radio, I'll actually just power it on from here. The sound quality is quite good. bad at all. Now obviously you can select between your stations from here or you can just use the presets down here. So let's go back again and uh, you can select between of course AM and FM, save stations and you can adjust the tone for the radio. Then you can pair your phone to the Bluetooth system in this car and then synchronize to your contacts. And you got things like BMW services such as you know their helplines and so on. And if we go back again, you've got the vehicle information. So this gives you pretty much all the data you can need regarding the car. Your owner's handbook, vehicle journey status, and so on. And then if we go down to settings finally, you can adjust pretty much everything here or go through everything, such as the control and display of the screen, your time and date, languaging units. Again, you can adjust the tone from here. The speed, oh yeah, it just gives you a speed warning. You can basically set that, so for example the speed limit in Ireland is pretty much 60 miles an hour on most roads, so you know I could lower that down to 60 miles an hour if I wanted to, and you can also adjust the climate control, you can put it on a timer. Uh, things such as your lights, you can pretty much adjust the brightness of them there, welcome lights if you want that on and off, and other things, you can adjust the door locks, eco pro mode, this here. There's actually another way of me uh, demonstrating this. I'll actually just do it right now while I'm here. You've got your buttons down here for Sport and Eco Pro mode. And if I adjust them, if I just press up, I can set between Sport mode, highlights on the screen, Comfort mode, which is what the car will be in most of the time, and Eco Pro. Uh, Eco Pro, really, it's uh, very simple. It's The car adjusts things such as you know uh, the engine and the gearbox and the climate control. Basically, makes the car as economical as it can. So I'm going to put it back into comfort mode. Okay, and profiles. Now, I was actually told by one of the salesmen, uh, you just install the USB into this car, and I think you can basically just customize uh, your driver setup. So you can adjust things such as, you know, the gearbox and so on. 
personalize the car for yourself and then basically just a software update for the iDrive system. It's a very easy system to use so it is. There are of course a lot of other options you can get on these cars uh, but as I was saying this here is the SC so it is pretty much just the basic model. If I put the car in reverse the backup camera and gain signs come on and now if I operate the uh, iDrive wheel again just scroll it you can adjust things here such as the brightness and the uh, guidance lines and so on so other things down here above the uh, sport mode button you have your traction control of course You've got a small shallow storage area here I think that's primarily where you would just put your keys and if I lift this up you got a small storage area again with a 12 volt power plus now this car of course comes with the six-speed manual gearbox it's got a uh, relatively close gear ratios smooth shifting and then of course you can get your reverse all the way over to the left and up. Also comes with the standard handbrake lever as well, nicely leather wrapped. And of course you've got your uh, leather wrapped uh, center armrest, very nice to have. Seats in this car are quite nice as well, good amount of side bolstering here, quite comfy to sit in. This car also comes with the auto dimming interior mirror as well as rain sensing windshield wipers which are just indicated there by the little A doesn't have automatic lights, I believe those are just an optional extra. And it's also got a nice little bit of uh, black piano glass when you're finished, going across a part of the dashboard. I really like the current generation of the 3 Series, I believe this came out in I think it was 2012, so uh, the one I have here is a 2012, so this here would have been like uh, the first of the new 3 Series coming out. It's a very nice car, I like the interior, it's nicely laid out, I like the screen here. Uh, a lot of people these days complain about uh, these fixed screens, the way they set up. Most people I think would prefer to rise out the dashboard. Um, I know with some, uh, I think it was Mercedes, yeah I think it's with some brand new Mercedes, um, the screen there is quite big and it's fixed and it kind of obscures visibility a bit. Uh, a lot of people complain about that. Thankfully the screen in the 3 Series still was small, so you know, it's easy to see and all that, but it doesn't actually get in the way of your forward visibility, thankfully. Also the sun visors are nicely wrapped in leather as well. It's got very small vanity mirrors, also illuminated. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back seats. So I do have the driver's seat in my position, I could have moved it forward a bit more, but in saying that, legroom is quite good in the back of this car. Headroom is very good as well, can't complain about that. And also it's got a centre mounted armrest and you just uh, push down this button here. You've got two cup holders. And it's also got rear ventilation. And there wouldn't be a lot of room here for anybody who wants the center seat because as you can see the transmission tunnel does bulge all the way up so really this is pretty much just a four-seater car so hop back into the front So we'll turn on the vehicle's power, as well as the hazards, headlights, and front and rear fog lamps, and of course all four windows are fully automatic. So we'll take a look around the exterior. Exterior color is called mineral grey. So with this current generation of the 3 Series, they really did redesign it quite a bit. As you can see the headlights are a lot narrower now. The car is a much sleeker looking front end. It comes with these 17 inch 5 spoke alloy wheels on Pirelli tyres as standard. It also has front and rear ventilated steel disc brakes. It has an independent McPherson strut suspension up front with a multi link rear suspension. So it has LED indicators in the exterior mirrors. As well as the shark fin antenna. Just coming around to the back. 
track here. You can see the parking sensors. And just down here, you can see the reversing camera. Good space in the 3 Series is quite good. It's got 480 litres of room. Modest size for your average four door saloon, such as this. And those rear seats do not fold. Very nice lines going down along the body. They taper off into the back. The overall length for the 3 Series is 182 inches. It has a width of 71.3 inches with a height of 56.3 inches and a total wheelbase is 110.6 inches. Lines going along the bonnet as well, just taper off in towards the front wheel and the headlights. The bonnet release is located down in the driver's side footwell, and as you can tell by the Two and a little X here, you have to pull the handle twice to release the bonnet completely. The engine is a 2 liter twin power turbocharged 4 cylinder diesel. It produces 184 brake horsepower with a top speed of 146 miles per hour. This car also puts out 280 foot pounds of torque and factory claimed it can get 61 miles to the gallon. So let's power on the car and see how it sounds. So we're just about to finish up the review. Should also mention that this car does have the start-stop system that you find on most diesels. You just activate it from here. So I actually do like the current generation of the 3 Series quite a lot. I think it's a very nice car. This based on the SE, you know, it comes with a decent amount of equipment. It's got the reversing camera, the Bluetooth climate control and you know quite a good engine as well now 320 diesels are the most popular versions uh, between Ireland and England not entirely sure about the rest of Europe but uh, these cars definitely the most popular because the engines have a lot of power 184 horsepower you're getting out of this one it's quite economical easy to run so you know these are the best ones to buy apparently in Ireland um, I can only imagine how much horsepower the 330 diesel has well over 200 anyway that's for sure but yeah, I do like this car quite a bit. If I was buying one, I think I would probably go for 
If it had to be diesel, I'd probably get the 330 diesel with a NAV Sport body kit and a few options on it. But it's a really, really sweet car. I do like it quite a lot. Uh, seen a couple of M3 variants of this. Uh, I saw, I think, an M3 at the Cannonball Run, which I filmed last year, which is also on my YouTube channel. So, yeah. Can't really complain too much about this car. I like the interior. It's nicely laid out. Everything's very easy to use, especially the iDrive system. This command center here, which you use for it, is very easy to get used to. So overall, this is a very good car, and they are very popular as well. They sell very well in this country. I'll also um, list the prices in the description box below, everything from the base model all the way up to the M3. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed this film that tour of the 2012 BMW 320D SE. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe, and please stay tuned, we'll be playing more videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone.